this example, we're going to be showing you how you can use the lock option in order to lock your script. And the lock service, what it does is it provides you a way to obtain a lock on a specified resource. And in this case, we're going to be locking it for 30 seconds while the lock is held. So that means that it can be acquired either in a shared mode or it allows other users and scripts to read the resource but not modify it or exclusive mode, which prevents any other access to the resource while it's locked. The lock service provides a way to obtain a lock on a specified resource, such as a file. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the lock service to this file. So selecting up the function, and we'll call it my fun one. And within this function, we're going to select whatever the active sheet is. So that's going to be sitting within this sheet object. So this is a bound script. And we're using the spreadsheet app service in order to select the sheet. And we want to select the active sheet. So whatever the active sheet is, it's going to return back that sheet object. And then we want to apply the lock option. So using the lock service, we're going to get the script lock. So this will prevent any additional scripts from modifying while the lock is being held. And then we'll try the lock here. We'll run the lock, so lock, and run the wait lock, and the number of seconds that we want to lock. So let's we'll lock it for 30 seconds. So it's 30,000 milliseconds that we're going to be applying the lock. And then doing the catch. So this will catch any errors or any issues that we might encounter. And we can just add them into the logger service. So within the logger log, failed to acquire lock. And then here we can pass in the error message. And lastly, add the finally statement. And then this is where we can do the lock and we'll release the lock option. So after the 30 seconds is up, will release the lock option. So let's uh, run the code. And so we can still type into it, but we don't have any uh, other scripts that can run. So if we want to have a script where we want to create a spreadsheet, we're not going to be able to run it until the lock is completed. So let's go ahead and we're going to add that in where we'll have the my fun too. And this function is just going to be a function where we're going to get the active and add a new, new sheet to it. And I'll also add a UI item into the into the menu of the spreadsheet. So we'll do that as well. We'll, we'll add in. So on open, we'll run the function in order to select the spreadsheet app UI object. So get the UI object. And then once we have the UI object, we want to create a menu. So then here it's going to be expecting a string value for whatever we want as the menu item. So this is where I'm just going to type in advanced. So this will be the label for the menu that the users are going to be able to see. We set the add item. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to have two different ones. So we'll call it lock. So this will initiate the lock. Make and lock sheet or whatever we want to call it. And I'll just rename the fun one items. And then here we have a second item and I'll just call it maker. And what this one will do, this is going to make sheet or make my sheet. So we give it a more meaningful name there than the fun one and fun two. So once we've added in the items, we want to add the items to the UI menu. And then I'm just going to rename it. So these string values are going to be the names of the functions that are going to run. And that's what we've just got created here. So within the make sheet, and uh, let's from here, we're going to create a brand new spreadsheet. So using the, what we want to do, we'll select the number of sheets. And we'll return that back from the spreadsheet. So this will give us a way to create a name for the spreadsheet. So we're selecting all of the sheets by using the get sheets method. And this returns back all of the sheets within an array format. 
let's uh, create a name. So this is going to be the sheet name that we're going to try to use. And we'll just give it a sheet and then concatenate the, using the number of sheets. And because it's an array, we can get a length value. And then here's the new sheet name, or this can just be the new sheet. And selecting the sheet object, we can get the sheet by name. And the reason we're doing this, it's going to return back null if the sheet doesn't exist. And if it already does exist, then we'll just clear out the sheet. So this way, we're not going to be producing. And we can also catch any errors that might be occurring. So we check to see if the new sheet is equal to null. And if it is, that means that we can insert the new sheet. So we take the new sheet and we insert a new sheet object. So we return back the new sheet that was just inserted into that new sheet value. And then we can take the new sheet variable and set a name. And the name that we're going to be setting is going to be the sheet name. So that way, that sheet name, if it doesn't exist, we're going to create it using the sheet name. And if it does exist, that's where we've got the else statement. And we take the sheet, so we take the new sheet object, and we'll just clear the contents of it so that we can write to it fresh. So this is going to be making a brand new sheet. And then within the new sheet, we'll append a row. And then you can have whatever data that you want in this row. I'll just have some numeric values there within the row there. So what we want to do, we want to make sure, refresh it until we get the advanced menu there. And once that shows up, once we refresh it successfully, and we get the advanced menu, so we run the maker, and it looks like we just threw an error there. So let's go back and see what we've got there. And that's because I didn't select the sheet object when I did the get sheets. So let's uh, select that sheet. And this is within the spreadsheet app service. And we want to get the active sheet. And we're actually get the active spreadsheet. So it's going to get the spreadsheet object, not just the sheet. So right now it's going to be 30 seconds for other processes to finish. And you can update this number to lock it for other users. So this is only for shared resources. So it's not going to affect the actual user. And you can still run content in here. It's only just it's for the shared resource that will prevent it from running other options from other users.